Previously, in the anime, while Shin helped out Lacia in obtaining the skill Purify, a large skull face boss appears, so he had to remove his limiter to let Wellhelm and Lacia escape safely, but in the midst of his fight, he runs into Shni, and Shni couldn't hold back her happiness because she had waited for Shin for 500 years, and all this years of waiting paid off today. So they quickly defeated the monster boss to catch up with each other, but Shin left his sword right thereafter. Defeating the boss that Rion and her knights found out. And one of them knew who makes this kind of powerful sword with falcon mark, only a high human, so things are getting interesting, and on the other side, Shin catches up with Wilhelm that he and Lacia both got shocked by his speed, so they took a stop because Wilhelm needed an explanation, and no excuses like Shni defeated that lord because Wilhelm had seen the mana Shin exploded, so Shin tells him everything honestly, that he's a high human and all, so he wanted to look into the records of high humans and how they disappeared, and there, Lacia woke up and she saw her idol Shni herself, but the motion sickness got her when they again started moving out, as for the other matter, Wilhelm tells Shin to not interfere or else he'll be dragged into their mess as well, so Shin gave him a message card with the words that he chose to be dragged in this problem so no more being a lone hero because he wants to save the kids and the orphanage as well, Wilhelm took his goodwill and accepted his help, after that, they returns back home. And there Tierra comes running out saying someone came. Looking for her, but that someone is already here, and Shin is going to eat with them. Well Shni never mentioned it Tierra, so she does right now that the owner of the moon sanctum is Shin, and now she believed that Shin is a real high human, and she was talking to the owner and a legend with such a carefree tone, so Shin asked her not to mind it and sits down to have dinner, but Tierra saw that mana was radiating from the food so she asked what is this. Shin remembers that this all are rare monster meat, so the life force of those must have remained in it, which is nothing for him but it's so many shocking things for her though, so after that they enjoyed the meal that Shni cooked with delight, then a bit later our cute little elf got drunk just from a little bit of alcohol, so Shni took her to her room and Shin gets back to his own room to retire, at last, felt like home indeed. But at midnight he woke up as he felt heavy, so looking in. The side and saw Shni had rolled up on his bed which was such an unforgettable moment. But she was crying in her sleep, must be because of how lonely she was until now, so Shin lets her be, then in the morning when he woke up, Shni had already left, but Yuzuha had transformed into her human form, so Shin gave her some clothes and both came out, Shni realized from a glance that she's Yuzuha, so she prepared another table for lunch and after filling their hunger, Shin asked Yuzuha why she was in that shrine. So according to her some natural disaster happened which she stopped. With her powers, and when she got to the shrine, something happened and then Shin showed up and saved her life, but there was another problem, Shin has to restock the shop since he's the only one who could enter the storage, and more importantly, Gerard is still waiting for him, he's a beast man, and he had united all the beast people and formed a beast alliance and became the first beast king. And right now the king is the eighth who took Gerard's responsibility which is why he lived for 500 years, so Shin decided to meet him, then what about the shop, well, that will be fine because Shin could store it. But first Shni said Tierra should register as an adventurer while she completes some of her work, so while Tierra goes to find out a new outfit, Shin gets to the smithy and forged quite a few swords to restock the store, then Tierra came down with her new pair, which enchanted the eyes of Shin but Tierra discovered that Shin was gawking at her racks, so as a punishment he has to pay for the travels. Then they came to the town and Tierra was so excited of exploring and going to guild, so Shin took her to guild first and their cyclica told him he's promoted to E rank now, because guild confirmed the skull face and undead he defeated, but personally she thinks Shin should have been promoted to a rank, but that would attract too much attention, and more importantly, Silica got really jealous seeing him with a girl. Although Shin said Tierra is his traveling partner, Silica found it hard to believe, so Shin changed the topic and asked for a new job for him, so Silica picked out an escort job. They will depart in the afternoon so Shin and Tierra had some time on their hands, so they spent it exploring the town, and after that they went over somewhere secluded where Shin could use teleportation, this was a lost spell, but Shin said he could create teleport crystal if he gets the right material. Tierra has gotten used to this type of shocks, and then they get back to Moon Sanctum, where Shin turned it into its traveling mode. And now since preparation were complete, Shin and Tierra goes. 
to the job and meets another companion the employer had hired. His name was Gayan and another one was Tsubaki, they have to escort this dwarf, but on the royal castle, the king was troubled that the moon sanctum had vanished, because that shop stood tall even in natural disasters for five hundred years and somehow it just vanished, it could be a huge loss to the bear-elict kingdom but they heard Schnee was coming to the castle today so they had to talk things out with her about this, and in the meantime, these four were getting to know each other better by introducing themselves and their power type, but on their way they were ambushed by bandits and those low lives want everything from them, so Shin sends Yuzuha to defend Nak and Tiara was hiding behind to give a surprise attack, there the leader started to give remarks on the Tsubaki that he wants to get her, which pissed off Shin, he showed his dark self and Tiara saw this and the hidden support they had, but to top it off, bandits had information about them as well. So Tiara first took down their hidden guys, and the fight started. After that, and just in a mere moments, everyone were defeated. And the boss wouldn't believe it because he thought they were all bottom feeders, that's why Shin did a number on him, and seeing him that he's bent on getting the info out of him, about who told him about them, Tiara took him in her embrace to calm him down, well that did the magic and Shin calms down which served the purpose, but after a while she realized how embarrassing this was, Shni always did the same whenever she was in a bad mood, even though, this was different than her in every way possible. And right there, our episode 2 ends, but if you want to watch more of the episode of this anime and many more new anime, then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, and please do not forget to like the video to support me so that I could bring out more anime recaps for you, so let's meet in another video until then, take care.